Pradhan Mantri formalization of micro food processing enterprises, Yojana, has assisted 2.4 lakh SHGs and 60,000 individuals with credit linkages. Other schemes are complementing the efforts for reducing post-harvest losses and improving productivity and incomes. For ensuring faster growth of the sector, our government will further promote private and public investment in post-harvest activities, including aggregation, modern storage, efficient supply chains, primary and secondary processing and marketing and branding. Nano DAP. After the successful adoption of nano urea, application of nano DAP on various crops will be expanded in all agroclimatic zones. Atmanirbhar oil seeds abhiyan. Building on the initiative announced in 2022, a strategy will be formulated to achieve Atmanirbharta for oil seeds such as mustard, groundnut, sesame, soya bean, and sunflower. This will cover research for high-yielding varieties, widespread adoption of modern farming techniques, <coughs> market linkages, procurement, value addition, and crop insurance. Dairy development. A comprehensive program for supporting dairy farmers will be formulated. Efforts are already on to control foot and mouth disease. India is the world's largest milk producer with <laughs> India is the world's largest milk producer but with low productivity of milch animals. The program will be built on the success of existing schemes such as Rashtriya Gokul Mission, National Livestock Mission, and infrastructure development funds for dairy processing and animal husbandry. Matsya Sampada. It was a government which set up a separate department for fisheries, realizing the importance of assisting fishermen. This has resulted in doubling of both inland and aquaculture production. Seafood export since 2013-14 has also doubled. Implementation of Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampada Yojana will be set up, stepped up to, one, enhance ag aquaculture productivity from existing three to five tons per hectare. Two, double exports to one lakh crore rupees and three, generate 55 lakh employment opportunities in the near future. Five integrated aqua parks will also be set up. Lakpati Didi. Eighty-three lakh SHGs. Eighty-three lakh SHGs with nine crore women are transforming rural socio-economic landscape with empowerment and self-reliance. Honorable Speaker Sir, their success has assisted nearly one crore women to become Lakpati Didi already. They are an inspiration to others. Their achievements will be recognized through honoring them. Buoyed by the success, it has been decided to enhance the target for Lakpati Didi from two crores to three crores. Technological changes, new age technologies and data are changing the lives of people and businesses. They are also enabling new economic opportunities and facilitating provision of high-quality services at affordable prices for all, including those at the bottom of the pyramid. Opportunities for India at the global level are expanding. India is showing solutions through innovation 
and entrepreneurship of its people. Research and innovation for catalyzing growth, employment, and development. Prime Minister Shastri, Prime Minister Lal Bahadur Shastri gave the slogan of Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan. Prime Minister Vajpayee, Atal Bihari Vajpayee ji, made that Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan, Jai Vigyan. Prime Minister Modi has furthered that to Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan, Jai Vigyan and Jai Anusandan as innovation is the foundation of development. For, for our tech-savvy youth, for our tech-savvy youth, this will be a golden era, a corpus of one lakh crore rupees will be established with 50-year interest-free loan provided. The corpus will provide long-term financing or refinancing with long tenors and low and or nil. I repeat that sentence. The corpus will provide long-term financing or refinancing with long tenors and low or nil interest rates. This will encourage this will encourage the private sector to scale up research and innovation significantly in sunrise domains. We need to have programs that combine the powers of our youth and technology. A new scheme will be launched for strengthening deep tech technologies for defense purposes and expediting Atmanirbharta. Infrastructure development. Building on the massive tripling of the capital expenditure outlay in the past four years, resulting in huge multiplier impact on economic growth and employment creation, the outlay for the next year is being increased by 11.1% to 11 lakh 11,111 crore rupees. This would be 3.4% of our GDP. Railways. Three major economic corrid railway corridor programs will be implemented. These are energy, mineral, and cement corridor. Number two, port connectivity corridors. And number three, high traffic density corridors. The projects have been identified under the PM Gati Shakti for enabling multimodal connectivity. They will improve logistics efficiency and reduce cost. The resultant decongestion of the high traffic corridors will also help in improving operations of passenger trains, resulting in safety and higher travel speed for passengers. Together with dedicated freight corridors, these three economic corridor programs will accelerate our GDP growth and reduce logistic costs. 